sick today. Probably have the coronavirus or something. I got all the symptoms of it. So, um, be patient with me, please. We're gonna start out with uh, Bitcoin, of course, and um, work our way through whatever questions you folks ask me. Uh, I got a dog, so that's new. He's a little miniature pincher. Um, she's very, very sweet, but she screams bloody murder when she gets stressed, so that's, uh, that's gonna take some work. Okay, okay. Uh, you have a chart. Want me to look at ask? All right. <coughs> God damn. All right. Uh, so two things we care about. Okay. Let's get a cat loaded. Um, Trading view decreased the timeout from. 30,000 milliseconds to 20,000. And the result is our indicators time out more often. And that's bad. We don't want that. Oh, shit. So, uh, we do have this mean aversion condition based on the 150 period here on the four hour. All right, it goes up to the 200 based on this cloud over here, but 150 roughly. So essentially, as long as we are below this pivot, which we are kind of doing, we are technically in a compressionary condition, which means either sideways or down until that relative period goes below the 0.7 value, which should happen tomorrow, essentially. So uh, Bitcoin can once again return to trend within you know, the next 24 hours. Uh, in either direction, we don't have implied direction at this time. Because we have conflicting signals as far as direction goes. Uh, let's start with, it's worth mentioning, uh, that this support line here, the 3.2 standard deviation of the CLCP on our four hour chart, is that line right there, which is also confluent on the one hour chart. This should be pretty impressive. Cool. So, uh, this is a bit of a roller coaster because we have conflicting signals here. We have a bearish mean reversion, but it's almost over. We have a bearish wave PM cross, <coughs> which immediately uh, reverted back over <coughs> to um, a bullish mean reversion on a shorter time frame, which is fascinating. Uh, we can actually load it up on the 15 minute chart and it'll look great. God, I can't breathe. I got a dog though. She's real nice. Okay. Uh, so essentially what we care about uh, is this bullish close. We've closed inside the mean aversion period. And now we got <coughs> compression. Probably. So either up or sideways, or if we want to taper down this way, we could do that too. Uh, but this is bullish mean aversion at this time, so uh, probably going to increase 2% today. Uh, it looks good. We're going to return the previous high. What's that? Because uh, this compressionary condition should last for a good while. So, yeah, it'll take its time. Uh, so even though we have the bearish expansion on the one hour chart, it's also a bullish mean aversion. So it's not like we can trade either really unless you want to trade the bullish mean aversion which is possible but that's you know on the 15 minute chart so uh it'll require <laughs> some attention all right let's check out link oh fuck yeah i fucking called this oh, sorry i'm exhausted and my filter is on Word filter. Yeah, we uh, entered Link yesterday. We had a really nice signal here. All right, it's on its way. Yeah, it's good. Um, 
I expect this to be the start of a new trend. Fingers crossed. Could be macro level trend. So, uh, daily chart. <laughs> yeah, 200 previous highs. Totally viable. Uh, it was still bouncing a lot. Jesus. I know that's maxed out, but it's still pretty clean. Uh, yeah, I, this could be the reversal <laughs> they're looking for. All right. Yeah, that's like it's going up. I think it's gonna keep going up. I want to get a tissue. Ask me if I'm not a chart. And KR would be interesting to see. Let's check it out. Let's take a nice look at it. Alright, I'm gonna do ASMR this time around. Just kidding, we're not doing that. Oh, okay. One, your tick length is so big. Alright, so each tick is. 5%, 5.5%. It makes it really hard to actually get decent measurements on anything. Um, I can't do TA on this chart, really. I'm sorry. I can draw shapes, but I wouldn't trust my shapes. So, uh, sorry. I don't have much for you on that, Fred. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'm just going to get through uh, the live stream questions for the day. Uh, 88 Euro CHF. And we just did like. <laughs> so we're gonna start with uh, 88. What is this song? Jesus. Get out of here. <laughs> oh wow, that's quite the compressionary condition. Yeah, so technically this is a bullish mean inversion uh, with a clearly defined swing line. It's based off of currently 394. Yeah, I wouldn't even enter this at this time. Sure, it's a bullish mean aversion, but your swing low is just so far away. Like, this swing low has been correct one times, two times, three times. Just wait for it. Just wait for that 390. Let's send them all It's a good support. All right, beautiful. That's it. That's all I want to say about it. Uh, your CHF. Swiss franc. <laughs> Uh, I don't know enough of the FA about this, to be honest. This particular pair. But we can do TA. Uh, new over expansion that we can define trend off of. Uh, one hour should probably be the best for that. So, I don't know what this fundamental event was, but we can define its trending pivot. So, uh, let's just wait for this to load. Nice. We want to look at 280 period. All right, it should load up in just a second. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. Take a long. It's perfect. So uh, you want to enter from 1.05848 to current price. All right, it's great. It's a beautiful chart. And what's the best part is if this breaks and we go below that support, you can stop out and sell the swing high for a short position. It'll work out just fine. <laughs> All right, that's it. Uh, that's all I want to say for today. I know it's a super short live stream, but I feel like shit. So, uh, goodbye.